Okay, so we're here today with uh, Dr. Rafi Romano, a specialist, an Israeli specialist uh, in orthodontics. And um, we will ask you a few questions about froggy mouth uh, today. Um, so before we ask you about froggy mouth, we would like, to, we would like you to explain uh, why is it important at all to, to treat uh, tongue thrust and swallowing disorders? Yeah, uh, well, you know, Froggy Mouse is uh, branded as an appliance for tongue thrust and to educate and practice, train the tongue muscles. But I think it is uh, very important for our um, um, uh, audience to understand that uh, tongue thrust is only uh, a small part or let's say um, uh, an appearance that we can uh, detect, but it is connected to all these um, um, uh, structures that surround the tongue, which are the lips, the cheeks, the breathing problem uh, that uh, some people have, uh, the posture, all this, and, and the, of course, the, the occlusion and the orthodontic alignment of the teeth. So uh, obviously, uh, we are not here to educate orthodontists how to uh, align teeth. We are not here to educate ear and nose uh, therapists and, and surgeons what to do when there is blockage of the airway. We are not here to educate speech and myofunctional therapists how to uh, train the patient. This appliance is only an accessory. It's an adjunctive appliance that help you to at home office, uh, at home appliance, that patients can train the tongue to the proper location on the mouth, in the mouth, which obviously um, not many people are aware where the tongue should be. And, and uh, uh, the, the appliance actually guide the tongue up to the vault, to the upper part of the, uh, of the uh, vault, and, and let uh, the uh, nerves learn this posture uh, with time uh, by training this appliance for 15 minutes per day, every day, at least for six months. Very easy, uh, very comfortable because you can do it in front of TV or uh, a computer screen or anything that is not requiring you from you anything but to be dedicated to the appliance. So we are here to um, to, to actually um, um, explore this uh, appliance to our audience, which, uh, to be honest, me as orthodontist for 30 years, I was not aware of this appliance, which Professor Patrick Felus uh, has um, come up with the idea many years ago. And, and, and it took time, and it still takes time, for people to hear about it, to learn about it, and this is why we are here today. What is, what is so special about uh, Froggy Mouth? Why is it special? Because there are other devices in the market. Uh, I, think, I think what is special with the Froggy Mouse is first the design. The design of the Froggy Mouse, uh, which of course is um, a, a development through the years because this appliance got uh, many versions and this version is one of the last versions of the Froggy Mouse, has um, you know, a special place for the lips for the tongue and it's auto training, meaning that patient does not need a special instruction except to put the uh, 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 appliance in the mouth, close the lips on the area that is de designed for it and just slowly train the, the nerves how to uh, locate the, the tongue. There are many devices. Some of them are more complicated. Some of them need more training. Some of them are more expensive. But to be honest, I don't think that Froggy Mouse is the appliance. It's another appliance. And this is what's important. And this appliance, because of its simplicity and because it is not expensive, because it's easy for the patient, I think this appliance should be part of every uh, uh, patient that has uh, a tongue and muscles problem in order to train it. Is it is the same like we recommend everyone that has eye problem to check their eyes and wear glasses when needed, 
we do the same with tongue behavior. But do you think that um, uh, you said it is easy to use um, as, as you are supposed to use it for 15 minutes a day? Um, does it make it uh, more or easier uh, for you, easier to, to get uh, cooperation? Uh, that's a good question because, you know, uh, all the protocols to train the tongue and the lips and the posture uh, and to go to myofunctional therapies require a lot of time. Most of the training uh, done by myofunctional therapies are in front of the therapist, meaning that the patient has to go out from his house, travel, like whatever time takes him to get there stay for one hour, train, come back. I think it is important. And many times it is essential to do this training. But I think that when you have an appliance, a home appliance that let you even start the training, get into the practice, understand the problem, and then combine it with um, myofunctional therapy with orthodontic treatment to correct the alignment of the teeth and to create more uh, um, uh, closure of the teeth in order to help the tongue locate properly. All this is like a, a big structure, but you know, it, it reminds me like when you want to get uh, in a good shape and you go to the gym and uh, just imagine what is more easy for you to do a five minutes training at home or to go every um, um, second day to the gym for one hour uh, and, and spend more time. Of course, uh, you know, five minutes per day is, is what most people will choose. And, and I don't think that one comes instead of the other. It's another appliance. It's a very easy appliance to use. And I think that this appliance works on a different level of other appliances because this appliance works on the uh, nerve path of the tongue behavior. Meaning that like when you drive a car, after you learn how to drive a car, you do things automatically. You do it even without thinking. And this is what happened with the froggy mouse. After uh, a certain amount of time, the behavior of the tongue, and not in that 15 minutes per day, that we instruct the patient to wear the appliance. But during the whole day, you know, when you go to a driving license, driving uh, lesson, it, the driving lesson is only half an hour. But then when you drive later on, you remember, you know, you work automatically with what you have learned. So it's mm -hmm. the same with the tongue. When we practice the tongue with the froggy mouse, after a certain amount of time, and, and uh, to be um, fair, I will say that some people get the training faster than others. So, so we have to be patient. And, and when we train the tongue and we do it properly, after some times, the behavior of the tongue will be good, not only when we wear the appliance, but during the whole day. And this will help to uh, do the other parts of the treatment, uh, do it more efficiently and more predictably. Rafi, I have a very practical uh, question. How long after starting using this device, we can start to see better results? That's, that's um, uh, you know, let's assume that the cooperation of the patient is as required, meaning patient is doing the training properly, sitting straight, his head up, the, the appliance in the mouth. I, by the way, I instruct patients in the beginning to have a towel or a tissue paper because sometimes the saliva is leaking because the lips are very, very weak. The, the muscles are not they're hypotonic. But after some times, you get a closure of the lips. When, now, when the lips are closed and the tongue is not pushing forward anymore, we will get... Uh, improvement, sometimes a dramatic improvement within months. So I, I suggest that every doctor that is using or therapy, therapist that are using the frogimas 
will do a proper documentation of the patient, meaning the face, the teeth, you know, the way patient even stand when they take the picture and then repeat the same pictures after three months. And I will, uh, I can guarantee that the majority of the patient will see improvement, will see, and they will even tell you about the improvement, even if you don't see it. They will tell you they close the lips much easier. They tell you that the breathing has improved. They will tell you that they think about the tongue during the whole day without even us need to mention it to them because the, the appliance guide the time up and they really understand what was wrong before and what they should do now. Word last, um, you said that the treatment is uh, um, in most cases uh, uh, up to six months or around six months. Uh, will it then last forever? Or do you have to repeat it, or will they be will, will, um, will there be a relapse, or uh, can you can you tell us from from your experience? Uh, that, that's um, uh, again a good question. Thank you, Ifat. I think that uh, uh, you know if we try to make a general generalization for most patients, most patients uh, which are very um, um, you know, uh, they, they do the training properly and it accompanied by other treatment like orthodontic treatment, like myofunctional treatment and not only froggy, will see stability for many, many years. Now, some patients which are not aware that the problem is multi, multi um, um, uh, disciplinary meaning that if the tongue is okay, but all the posture is very weak and all the muscles are very weak and they have this a tendency to sit with hypotonic muscles and the tongue forward, nothing will help. So I really recommend that when, you, when the doctor is happy or the clinician is happy with the tongue uh, behavior improvement, I recommend not to do it from 100% to zero. We go slowly, you know, we, we take, you know, the, the, the duration of the treatment from every day to once a week or twice a week, then once a month. Then if needed, we go back. It's the same, I'm sorry to give this example, but it's like a diet. When are we doing a diet? When we feel that our um, um, daily um, um, uh, dietary is not balanced. So we take uh, uh, a special two weeks, three weeks, we do another time the exercise, we do another time the diet or whatever, and we come back to the plateau. So, so uh, like every medical treatment, there is no magic, nothing. And the clinician is the one to diagnose if the problem has disappeared, if the problem is balanced, and we have to repeat it or not. Thank you, Rafi, for all this uh, important information. Um, I, would, I would add, uh, Yifa, just to conclude, that uh, um, I think that uh, um, patients, doctors that want to get more information are highly recommended to look for uh, webinars that are describing all this uh, problem, which start from the tongue, but accompanied by many, many factors. Because when you want to diagnose and give treatment to your patients, you have to understand the whole problem. We don't try in this short webinar to teach uh, doctors or clinicians what to do, or even laymen like, like patients who hear this webinar, we don't try to give magic. But on the other hand, I think uh, they should know that there are easy appliances uh, like Froggy Mouse, they are really uh, well um, um, uh, checked clini clinically and uh, scientifically uh, that this uh, 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 appliance, this small device works. How much it works? For some patients, it will work amazingly, some less, but if accompanied by all the other uh, treatment, 
you should you can guarantee you have a very nice uh, result. And I want to thank you, uh, Daphna and Ifat, for uh, being so nice and bring this device to Israel. Because uh, now, as you can tell, many many doctors in Israel and and uh, you have brought this appliance, I think, to Israel only six months ago, and there are already hundreds of of uh, uh, orders per uh, per month, only because doctors and patients are very happy with it. That's right. So, All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Thank Bye. you. See you soon. Bye.